Hi guys! Welcome sa Engie Nerd Math Channel. Sa video na to ay tuturo ko sa inyo ang addition and subtraction of radicals. So kung gusto nyo itong matutunan, just keep on watching. So madali lang naman ang addition and subtraction or Basically, combination of radicals. So, susundin lang natin yung concept na makokombine lang natin yung radicals kung meron silang similar terms. So, ibig sabihin, dapat exactly the same yung radical expression nila. So, dapat may the same index saka the same radicand sa loob ng radical symbol. Okay? So, ito yung rule for combining radicals. To add and subtract radicals, Transform first those which are not in its simplest form. Then combine radicals which are similar and indicate as addition those radicals which are not similar. So, yun na nga. Kapag similar terms yung radicals, pwede natin silang i-combine. Kapag hindi naman, as is na lang. So, kailangan alam din natin mag-simplify nung radicals kasi gagamitin din natin yun dito kapag mag a at magsusubtract tayo ng radical. So, kung hindi nyo pa napapanood yung video ko about simplification of radicals, ay link ko na lang para mapanood nyo. Dahil kailangan alam nyo yon para makasabay kayo sa video natin about addition and subtraction of radicals. Okay, so, let's start with the first example. So, we have 4 square root of 7 plus square root of 7. So, gaya na sinabi ko, determine natin kung similar terms pa sila. So, titingnan lang tayo doon sa radical expression. So, dito, sa una, meron tayong radical expression na square root of 7. Nandun sa pangalawa, square root of 7. So, paraho silang index na 2 and paraho yung radical ay yung number sa loob ng radical symbol na 7. So, therefore, similar terms to. Pwede natin i-add. So, itong square root of 7, automatic meron tong parang 1 na constant sa tabi niya. Parang 1 times square root of 7. Pero dahil 1 naman, na natin sinusulat. So, parang ganito lang yun. I-add mo lang. 4 plus 1, 5. Okay? And then, affix mo lang kung ano yung radical expression, which is square root of 7. So, as easy as that. So, therefore, the answer is 5 square root of 7. Okay? Next, we have 5 square root of 2 over 3 plus square root of 2 over 3. So, check natin kung similar ba sila. So, yung una, meron tayong radical expression na square root of 2, tsaka yung pangalawa, may radical expression din tayo na square root of 2. So, therefore, similar sila. So, pwede natin i-combine. So, bale, so parang may fraction sila. So, i-write ko lang to as 5 thirds square root of 2 plus 1 third square root of 2. So, pareho lang yan. Okay? So, itong i-add natin, 5 thirds plus 1 third. Ano yon? So, parang 5 plus 1 over 3 square root of 2. So, we have 6 over 3 square root of 2. And then, 6 divided by 3 is 2. Then, multiply lang natin sa square root of 2. Therefore, the final answer is 2 square root of 2. Okay? Next, we have 7 square root of 10 plus square root of 90. So, obviously, hindi similar terms yung dalawang expression kasi yung isa may radical expression na square root of 10 tapos yung isa square root of 90. So, magkaiba yung radical nila o yung number sa loob. Pero, dito natin i-apply yung simplification of radical. Kasi itong square root of 90, pwede pa natin yung masimplify. Itong 7 square root of 10, simplified form na siya. Kasi hindi mo na natin pwedeng matransform itong 10 into exponential equation. Kasi hindi naman siya exact. Itong square root of 90, pwede pa. Pwede natin i-factor yung 90 as what? Parang square root of 9 times 10, right? And then itong 9, pwede natin i-transform into exponential form. Parang square root of 3 square times 10 na yan. And then, ito, pwede natin pag yan. Square root of 3 square times square root of 10. Product property of radicals. Then, pag kinasform natin ito using rational exponent, magiging 3 raised to 2 over 2 times square root of 10. O, simply, 
2 over 2 is 1 na lang. So, parang 3 to the first power or simply 3. So, therefore, we have 3 square root of 10. So, itong square root of 90 is the same as 3 square root of 10. Then, plus natin dun sa kanina yung 7 square root of 10. So, therefore, similar terms na sila kasi paro na silang square root of 10 yung radical expression. So, add na lang natin yung mga numbers. So, 7 plus 3 is 10. Then, affix lang natin yung square root of 10. So, therefore, the final answer is 10 square root of 10. Okay? Next, we have 4 square root of x minus 3 square root of x plus 9 square root of x. So, this time, may variable naman na tayo na x. So, check pa rin natin kung similar terms ba yung mga terms natin. So, check natin yung radical expression. Square root of x, square root of x, square root of x. So, therefore, similar. So, pwede natin silang pag-combine So, we have 4 minus 3 plus 9. So, 4 minus 3, 1. Plus 9, 10. So, therefore, we have 10. And then, affix lang natin yung radical expression na square root of x. So, therefore, the final answer is 10 square root of x. Okay? Next, we have square root of 9a to the 7 minus square root of a cube. Okay, so obviously, hindi sila similar kasi magkaiba yung expression nila sa radicand. Okay? So, pero, pwede pa natin itong simplify. So, dito muna tayo sa square root of 9a to the 7. So, itong 9, pwede natin i-rewrite as 3 squared. Itong a to the 7, pwede natin i-split as a to the 6 times a. Okay? Parang 6 plus 1 is 7. Itong 6 kasi... Multiple, highest multiple nung index natin na 2. So, pwede natin yung malabas. And then, minus, ito rin, a cubed, pwede yung ma-split as a squared times a. Okay, kasi 2 plus 1 is 3. And then, yung a squared, uh, yung 2 na exponent nung a ay multiple nung index natin na 2. So, therefore, meron tayong, pag natin, 3 square a to the 6 times square root of a, Minus square root of a squared times square root of a. Ito, transform natin using rational exponent. So, we have 3 raised to 2 over 2. A raised to 6 over 2. Times square root of a. Minus, ito ren A raised to 2 over 2 square root of a. So, simplify natin. 3 raised to 2 over 2 or 3 raised to the first power, 3 na lang. A raised to 6 over 2 or A raised to the third power or A cubed square root of a minus ito rin, a raised to 2 over 2 is a to the first power na lang or simply a square root of a so therefore para na silang may radical expression na square root of a pwede na nating i-combine so parang i-minus lang natin tong dalawa so parang 3a cube minus a and then multiply natin dun sa common radical expression nila na square root of a so, therefore, this is the final answer. Okay? Next, we have 2a square root of 3 minus square root of 3a squared over 9. So, obviously, hindi sila similar terms. So, therefore, simplify muna natin yung pwede pang masimplify. So, itong una ay simplified form na. So, ito na lang pangalawa yung isisimplify natin. So, meron tayong division. So, apply muna natin yung quotient rule for radicals. pag natin. Pwede natin itong i write as square root of 3a square over square root of 9. Tapos, itong square root of 9, pwede natin yung i-transform in into yung radical niya into exponential form. So, magiging square root of 3a squared over square root of 3 squared. Right? And then itong taas, yung numerator, square root of 3a squared, itong a squared, pwede nating malabas to kasi yung exponent niya ay multiple ng index natin na 2. So, pag natin parang square root of a squared times square root of 3. Itong square root of 3, hindi na natin pwedeng malabas, so as is na yan. Over, itong square root of 3 squared, transform natin into fractional exponent. So, parang 3 raised to 2 over 2. Simplify natin. Itong square root of a squared, pwede rin yung maging a raised to 2 over 2 times square root of 3 over. Itong 3 raised to 2 over 2, parang 3 raised to the first power or 3 na lang. And then, itong a raised to 2 over 2, parang a na lang din yan. So, a square root of 3 over 3. So, therefore, meron na tayong 2a square root of 3 minus ito, a square root of 3 over 3. Okay? 
So, therefore, similar terms na sila. Para na silang may radical expression na square root of 3. Combine na lang natin yung mga numbers sa tabi nila. Itong 2a, tsaka a over 3. So, parang 2a minus a over 3 times square root of 3. Okay. Combine lang natin to So, parang 3, then 3 divided by, parang 1 to the 3 divided by 1 is 3 times 2a is 6a minus a. Okay? So, we have 6a minus a is 5. So, parang 5a over 3 square root of 3. Okay? So, therefore, this is the final answer. 5a over 3 square root of 3. Next, we have square root of 1 third plus square root of 48 plus 4th root of 144 minus 5 over square root of 3. So, obviously, wala tayong similar term sa kahit anong expression. So, pero, pwede muna natin silang isimplify isa-isa. So, lahat ng condition, conditions 1 to condition 3 ay gagamitin natin dun sa video ka about simplification of radicals. So, ito muna. Transform ko muna to as square root of 1 over square root of 3. Okay? Plus, ito, pwede natin itong i-factor as square root of 16 times 3, right? Kasi itong 16, pwede pa natin i-rewrite as what? 4 squared times 3. And therefore, yung exponent nga na 2 ay multiple ng index natin na 2. Okay? So, mamaya, simplify pa natin. Plus, ito naman, pwede pa natin paliitin yung index nito. Paano? Transfer muna natin itong 144 into exponential form. So, parang magiging, di ba, 12 square yan? Okay? So, therefore, we have 4th root of 12 square. Minus, itong 5 over square root of 3, dahil meron tayong radical sa denominator, kailangan maalis natin yan. So, paano yon? Multiply natin sa factor na itong denominator, square root of 3, and then para balance, multiply din natin yung numerator ng square root of 3. Okay? Square root of 3 kasi yung index natin ay 2 and then meron na tayong exponent na 1 dito so kailangan pa natin ng isang exponent na 1 para maging equal yung exponent nila na 2. Kasi yung 1 plus 1 is 2 and yung index natin ay 2. So therefore, we have 5 square root of 3 over square root of parang 3 squared na. Okay? Simplify natin isa-isa. Ito, Parang yung kanina, meron tayong square root of 3, so multiply din natin sa square root of 3 over square root of 3. So parang square root of 1 times square root of 3, so minultiply ko sa square root of 3 over square root of 3 para ma-rationalize over square root of 3 squared. Okay? Plus, so ito, pwede natin paghiwalayin square root of 4 squared times square root of 3. Okay? Plus, ito, transform natin using rational exponent. So we have 12 raised to 2 over 4. Okay? Minus, ito parang 5 square root of 3 over, ito, 3 raised to 2 over 2. Okay? Simplify. So, we have now, square root of 1 times square root of 3, so parang square root of 1 times 3 na lang yan, or 3. And then ito, 3 raised to 2 over 2 na lang. Okay? Plus, ito, transform natin parang 4 raised to 2 over 2 square root of 3. Plus, Ito, transform natin yung 2 over 4 as 1 half. So, parang 12 raised to 1 half na lang. Okay? Minus, so ito, parang 3 raised to the first power na lang. So, we have 5 square root of 3 over 3 na siya. So, wala na tayong radical sa denominator. Then, ito rin, square root of 3 over ito, 3 raised to 2 over 2 or 3, or 3 raised to the first power na lang. So, square root of 3 over 3 na yan. Plus, ito, 4 raised to 2 over 2 or... 4 raised to the first power or simply 4 na lang. So, 4 square root of 3. Plus, ito, parang square root of 12 na, right? Minus 5 over 3 square root of 3. Okay, so itong tatlo, similar na sila kasi pair na silang radical expression na square root of 3. So, pwede natin i-combine yan. So, parang 1 third plus 4 minus 5 thirds times square root of 3. Okay? Plus, eto, pwede pa natin itong masimplify, right? How? Kasi pwede pa natin itong ma-factor as square root of 4 times 3. And then itong 4, parang 2 squared. So, multiple ng index natin, yung exponent na 2. So, pwede yung malabas. Okay? So, therefore, we have, parang ano na to? 
square root of 2 squared times square root of 3. Okay? Then, simplify natin. Parang 2 raised to 2 over 2 square root of 3. Or simply, 2 over 2 is 1. So, 2 raised to the first power na lang. Or simply, 2 square root of 3. So, therefore, a-add natin dito. So, a-add pa natin tong 2. Kasi, meron din siyang expression na square root of 3. So, parang 1 third plus 4 minus 5 over 3 plus 2. Okay, square root of 3. So, lahat pala sila, similar terms kapag sinimplify natin yung radical expressions. So, combine na lang natin, fraction. So, meron tayong denominator na 3. So, 3, then ito over 1, over 1. So, 3 divided by 3 is 1, times 1 is 1. Plus, 3 divided by 1 is 3, times 4 is 12. Minus, 3 divided by 3 is 1, times 5 is 5. Plus, 3 divided by 1 is 3 times 2 is 6. Square root of 3. So, simplify natin. 1 plus 12, 13. Minus 5, 8. Plus 6, 14. So, therefore, we have 14 over 3 square root of 3. Okay, so therefore, this is the final answer. So, therefore, na-apply natin lahat ng simplification of radicals. Okay, so that's it for the topic addition and subtraction of radicals. So sana ay may natutunan kayo sa video na to at maraming salamat sa panonood.